The CIA, America's Secret Service, decided that they had to get rid of Castro and they set about trying to kill him. Okay, as you can see, there was up to 638 attempts to assassinate him. These included things such as exploding cigars. Castro was famous for always having a big cigar in his mouth. And somehow the CIA would smuggle cigars which would explode and blow his head off. Castro also enjoyed scuba diving and the American CIA planted shells with bombs in on the seabed. None of them worked. When Castro first took over, many people fled Cuba and went to America. These included criminals and politicians. Thousands of them took boats over to Florida. In 1962, the CIA funded, trained and armed and transported 1,300 Cuban exiles to invade Cuba. They, they misinformed them that the people weren't happy with Castro and they get behind them and help, him, help them to overthrow him. The CIA took the 1,300 Cubans by boat to a place called the Bay of Pigs. The invasion was a disaster. The people did not get behind the 1300. In fact, they got behind Castro. The 1300 were either killed or taken prisoner. Kennedy was humiliated. Castro was in no doubt now that the CIA were trying to kill him and he turned to Russia for help. Russia saw an opportunity now to have somewhere to place their missile launchers which could reach American soil. On the 14th of October 1962, the Americans, using a spy plane, discovered the missile site sites. These sites brought every town in the US within range of Soviet nuclear missiles. President Kennedy called a meeting of the National Security Council and on the 22nd of October went on TV to tell the American people they were under threat. Kennedy knew he couldn't invade Cuba without causing a world war, but he also knew he couldn't be seen to do nothing. Kennedy decided to put a blockade around the island of Cuba to stop Russian ships delivering the missiles. Khrushchev, the Premier of Russia, warned Kennedy that if he stopped the ships, they would see it as an act of war. This caused great tension, not only in America and Russia, but throughout the world, because everybody was aware that if one, if one fired on the other, the others would retaliate, causing total nuclear destruction. Prior to this, America had put missile launchers in Turkey, which could reach Russia, even Moscow. As the world waited to see if either side would back down, and either side didn't want us to be seen to lose face. Politicians behind the scene came up with a deal. The deal was that if the Russian ships turned back and the missile launchers in Cuba were dismantled, America would dismantle their missile launchers in Turkey. However, Kennedy insisted that this could not be made public because he didn't want to lose face. Khrushchev agreed. Kennedy came out of it looking like a hero who caused the Russian communists to back down and Khrushchev was embarrassed. However, Khrushchev said later he never backed down and he, was, he shouldn't have been embarrassed because he got what he wanted. America stopped bothering Cuba and the missile launchers were taken away from Turkey.